to show you guys how I do my mermaid fishtail braid protective style. I'm going to show you three different ways that I do it and how I prepare and separate the hair. All of my hair is by Dr. Blotts. They're sideshow, lilac, and chocolate braiding hair. I'm separating the lilac hair into two sections just a little bit so it can be an accent color. And I'm only using half of a half of the chocolate brown, which is about shade number four in regular braiding hair. And I'll be using all of the blue blend. After that, I get ready to separate the hair, mixing it so it will look well blended. Be careful not to tangle the hair. Blend it as many times as you feel necessary to get it as mixed as you would like. And this is the finished hair. Attach it to a chair or some contraption, leaving space at the top for a loop that you can attach to your own hair and to help it easier attach to whatever you're attaching it to. I just wrapped it around with the band. Separate the hair into two sections. Take hair from the right side and make a little piece also the same size on the left side. You're going to be adding those pieces of hair to the middle of the braid. I'll get a better angle later. Be careful not to tangle the hair. Right side to the middle left. Right side to the middle left. Keep it as tight as you can. Left side to the middle right. Make sure your hair is well attached. And repeat. The smaller the sections, the better the fishtail will get. I like to switch it up between chunky sections and thinner sections just for variety. It will also affect how long it takes you to finish the braid. Watch yourself how you're braiding. If it's a little wonky, it's okay because you're still going to have a little work to do to the braid after you finish braiding. But just depending on how perfect you like things, take your time. It gets better with practice. About here now you can see the lilac coming in as just a nice highlight in the braid with it being predominantly blue and also using the darker hair gives the illusion of your real hair if it's darker coming all the way to the end of the braid without it being so stark in contrast to just pure color. Keep the fishtail braiding up until you get until the end of the braid. I like to wait until the last few inches to start making it just a regular braid. Because with the braid being so small by the end, the fishtail starts to look like a regular braid.
After you finish with your braid, the next step is to widen it by gently pulling it apart. Some pieces may start to stick out, but that's okay, you'll take care of it later. Work your way all the way down to the bottom to give the braid a little more body from being tightly braided. And depending on the softness of the hair, you definitely have to give it a little work and be gentle with it. Do this as many times as desired until the braid looks like how you would like it to look. Clip off the straight ends. And that's basically it. Now I'll show it again with a few more tips and a different method attaching it from my head. Attaching it from my head, leaving the space that we left in the beginning to attach it with bobby pins. After it's secure enough with bobby pins, I would also recommend going over it with a hairband. My hair is just in a little side bun. It's in about seven twists that I've made into just a little bun and covered with my scarf. After it's secure enough, smooth the hair and separate it into two sections like before. Make sure that the hair is secure because you don't want it to fall out while you're in public. Again, taking one section from each side on the outer ends and bringing them to the middle intersections. Small section, left side, to the inner right, right section, outer and to the inner left. The larger your sections are, the less it will look like a fishtail braid. If you begin to make your sections too large, it will end up looking just like a regular three strand braid, and then all of your efforts will be for nothing, other than having a nice three strand braid. Here you can better see now what I meant by saying that I was braiding it on my shoulder. Just taking the sections, laying them down versus really braiding per se. I'm sure you're getting the gist of this by now, I hope. So we're going to speed this up a little bit and continue just watching go over and over to the middle sides as I lay them down. And we'll switch it up a little bit on the next section with how I'm braiding. Switching it up a little bit now by using my pinkies to help me get a much stronger, tighter braid, a little more similar to the braid that we had from the chair. I overall prefer this look to the loser braid. It also probably helps have less flyaway strands. And again, I'm using my fingers to help bring it over to keep the hair tighter.
almost like a hook latch needle. Even the shape of the braid is different when you make it tighter. Left outer to right inner, scratch your face. Right outer, hook it with pinky to left inner and drop. I finished up the rest of the braids similar to the last one and now just going through cleaning it up a bit. Pulling it apart now you can really see how the top of the braid is a different texture and shape. Pull to your liking. Add a little bit of volume and size. It doesn't matter for me if the top part of my hair is super pristine because I'm going to cover it up anyway where the hair is attached. And remember to pull it apart all the way until the bottom of the braid. And this is basically it. This is how I would style it. Adding a beanie hat or a sun hat. Some accessories to complement the colors. I added little bits of rubber bands to the end of the braids, but if you braided it all the way until the bottom, you don't really need it. So I hope this video was helpful showing you how to make long mermaid inspired fishtail braids as a protective style, especially for your natural hair, or something fun just to switch it up to add color without adding color to your hair. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. I hope it's been helpful. And if you would like this necklace, just subscribe and say in the comment section below. And I'll choose someone randomly to send it to. Thank you.